What's up everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial I'm going to show you how to recreate a fake dolly zoom or vertigo effect all in post-production. So if you guys are enjoying these videos make sure to leave a like on it below and if you're new to the channel then subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my new videos. Also you can follow me on Instagram at Justin Odisho if you want to reach out to me. So what is a dolly zoom effect anyway? It's an actual in-camera technique where the camera is either placed on some sort of dolly or track where it can slide forward or backward easily. And while it's moving forward, a zoom lens is used to be zooming out at the same time. So it keeps the subject near the center or wherever in the frame while giving that zoom lens compression and change in focal length in the background. So it creates a bit of a sense of vertigo for the viewer and it was also seen in many popular movies such as Vertigo by Alfred Hitchcock, Jaws, The Goodfellas, and many more movies. So in order to start recreating this in Adobe Premiere Pro, we're going to want to start with a clip that at least has that one part down by being a clip that moves forward or away from a subject. So in this example drone shot, we're moving away from the horizon. So that means I can add the zoom part of the effect in post-production using scale keyframes. Now do note that this is not exactly the same. You're not getting the same focal length differences in compression and distortion, but it is a fun example to do in Premiere Pro. Maybe you'll learn a little bit about the scale keyframes and you can understand how the original effect works a bit more. Also, it's going to help if you have a clip that is in 4K resolution or at least higher resolution than the resolution you plan to finish with because by scaling into certain clips, you are naturally going to face a little bit of loss of quality if that is very important to you. Again, this is not meant to replace a real dolly zoom, but it can be a fun, interesting effect to keep in your pocket. So I'm going to create a scale keyframe right here and we're going to keep it at 100 since we're starting at the default clip. Then as the clip reaches the end, I'm going to zoom in to about 150. If you're using 4K or higher resolution clips, you could probably get away with zooming in further, but basically you want to zoom in as much as the clip is moving backward and you can play around with different figures, but you want to match it so that the horizon or the objects stay the same throughout the whole way. See if I zoomed too far in too quickly, then we wouldn't get as even of a match. So. Play around with the timing and amounts and you can see as I play the clip there's this cool effect happening where we are moving backwards and we know we are but it's still zooming in at the same time. So the horizon is kind of coming at us with a bit of vertigo. But another trick that we can do to sell this effect even a bit more is try to track the position of certain objects in the frame. So in this case the sun is right there and I'm going to try to keep it right there in that same spot the whole time by also using position keyframes. So if I start by toggling the animation at the default spot, I'm going to go to the end and since we're zoomed in at this point, I have some room to move this left. So I'm going to move the sun left and so it stays in that same point of the frame. Now when I press play on that effect, it even sells it a bit more or, or a bit differently because the sun or an object in the frame is staying at the same spot while well, the viewer is experiencing a bit of vertigo. This same method applies for a clip that is moving forward. So in this case, this clip is moving forward through space. So instead, we're just gonna want to zoom out. So we'd start at a higher scale of about 150 and then create a keyframe there. And then we'd zoom out to 100 or the default amount. So then it goes forward while zooming out the buildings kind of stay roughly about the same size and it creates another vertigo type of effect. Now obviously there are a bit of drawbacks from doing this in post-production. You don't get that same focal length distortion that you would if you actually did this effect with a real zoom lens and real movement. It is a fake effect, but it can be a fun effect to have in your pocket. But hopefully this video gave you a bit of insight on this film technique and recreating it in post-production kind of helped break it down a little bit, maybe show you some cool workflow tips in Premiere Pro. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like kind of below. Let me know what you thought in the comments and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for all of my new videos. Go follow me on Instagram at Justin Odisho if you want to reach out to me. And once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.